Welcome to JS Production and today I'm going to look at the solutions of mathematics paper 2 of 2015 specifically we're going to look at question 5 and this question 5 uh, deals with construction don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so question 5 reads answer the whole of this question on a sheet of plain paper and question A reads construct triangle ABC in which AB is equal to 11 centimeters angle BSC is equals to 60 degrees and SC is equals to 6 centimeters one mark question B reads measure and write the length BC one mark question C reads on your diagram draw the locus of points within triangle ABC which are number number one equidistance from AB and AC one mark Loma number two, equidistance from A, B, A, and B, one mark. <coughs> then question D reads, R is a point inside the triangle A, B, C such that it is equidistance from A, B, and A, C, and equidistance from A and B, label point R, two marks. And question E reads, another point S within triangle ABC is such that it is nearer to AB than AC and nearer to A than B. Indicate clearly by shading the region in which S must lie to max. Question A reads, construct triangle ABC in which AB is equal to 11 centimeters angle BSC is equals to 60 degrees and AC is equals to 6 centimeters one mark so I know that uh, for me to construct this triangle I have been given a side an angle and a side but in some cases you can be given three sides so the solution to this question is So for me to construct triangle ABC, I know that the length of AB is 11 centimeters and angle BSC is 60 degrees and the length of AC is uh, 6 centimeters. So I'll first start by measuring the length of AB using my using my meter rule which is uh, 11 centimeters. So AB is 11 centimeters. So I'll put my A that there and my B on the other side of the line. Then I know that angle BAC is uh, 60 degrees, so I'll put my contractor on point A because 60 degrees is uh, it's the angle which is on point A. So I'll just put my protractor there and I'll measure my sickest and I'll just put a dot then the next thing I know that length uh, I know that uh, a B uh, SC is uh, equal to six centimeters so <coughs> I'm going to measure uh, SC using my compass on the meter I'll measure uh, six centimeters so the reason why I'm, I'm trying to place my arc, I want to find where the line will reach for A and to find the point C. So I'm going to put my compass on point A and I'm going to draw an arc. I'll draw an arc which is representing 6 centimeters away from point A. Then I'll draw my line touch the arc and it must also pass through the 60 degree angle so I've drawn uh, that line and I'll draw another one which will connect to point B so I can say that point is point C then I've drawn my 
triangle ABC and uh, <coughs> I know that uh, the length AB is 11 centimeters so I'm just going to put that 11 centimeters and I also know that uh, length AC is 6 centimeters and angle BAC is 60 degrees so I'm just going to put my 60 degrees on uh, point C on point A sorry and I can name that as A Question B reads, measure and write the length BC, one mark. So question B is telling me to find the length BC. So I'll use my ruler to find the length uh, BC. So I'm just going to put my ruler there and I'm going to find the length BC. So as you can see, uh, the length BC is uh, 9.5. Yeah, it is 9.5. So I'm just going to write that one. So question B, I can say the length BC is equals to 9.5 centimeters question c reads on your diagram draw the locus of points within triangle abc which are number number one equidistant from ab and ac one mark so i need to get the letter that is common between these uh, two uh, two points I have a B and a C so a is common so it means I'm going to bisect the angle which is at a question C Roman numero one requires me to draw a locus of points that is equidistant from a b and a c so which means i'm going to bisect angle a and for me to bisect angle a i'm going to use my compass so i'm going to get a, a small radius i get my small radius and i'll put on point a so i'm going to draw an arc to cut to cut line a c and another arc to cut line a b then i'm going to increase the radius on the compass then i'll put it on my previous uh, arc on line a b so i'll draw an arc there and i'm going to put it on the arc that the uh, on the arc that i had drawn on line sc I'm going to draw that arc to cut um, the arc that I'm just from drawing. So uh, I need to connect. I need to connect uh, my line using my lula. So from point, from that point to point A. So that means I've just uh, drawn uh, the locus of points that are equidistant from A, B, and uh, A, C. And I know that this question is question C, number number one. I'm going to label it there. So this is how you draw a locus of points. Question C, Loma numero 2 reads, equidistant from A and B, one mark. So this means I need to bisect line AB.
for me to answer question C or manual 2 I need to bisect line AB and for me to bisect line AB I'm going to measure more than half of line uh, AB and I'm going to draw an arc on top and another arc on the bottom Then I'll get my compass, I'll put it at point B. I'm going to draw an arc to cut the previous arc that, uh, that I drew on top and another arc on the bottom. So as you can see, uh, that's the arc on the bottom. Then uh, I'm going to get my lula and I'm going to draw a straight line. That is connecting these uh, these are uh, two axes. So I'm just drawing uh, my line. So uh, that means I've bisected line A B in the I need to label that as question uh, need to label that as question C question C Loma numero 2 so that's how you you bisect line a B question D reads R is a point inside the triangle ABC such that it is equidistant from A, B, and AC and equidistant from A and B. Label point R to max. So to, to draw point R that is within triangle L, B, C and uh, this point is uh, equidistant from point A, B and A, C it is also equidistant from point A, B so I know that uh, this point is at this point where the two lines are meeting each other so I'll draw point R to represent that point and uh, this question is uh, question D I'll indicate question D there so that's how you can indicate point R as you can see it, it is very clear on the video Question E reads, another point S within triangle ABC is such that it is nearer, nearer to AB than SC and nearer to A than B. Indicate clearly by shading the region in which S must lie. 2 marks. I need to indicate point S that is nearer to AB that is nearer to AB than SC so I know that it is the bottom part but the question also says that it is nearer to A than B so uh, my point uh, S I'll indicate it I'll indicate it so that's uh, the point S. Then the question also say I need to shade this region. So I will shade using my metallo. So that's uh, the region that I'm supposed to shade. And after I've done that, I need to indicate uh, the question number so the question is a uh, question E 
I need to indicate it inside the region. Question E. I hope you have understood construction. I'll meet you next time. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel.